what does the future look like? I have been hired on. It is my first day of a new job and I feel like I'm gonna pee my pants. It went really well actually, but it is getting harder and harder for me to go into work these days. Do I even want to stay at this job? I am quitting my job. It is my last day of work in jail. You said son, you remember this day for the rest of your life. I think he's right. Mom said, now you've got something new to write about tonight. I think she's right. I paid my dues and waited my turn. And the rest of my life starts today. Big day today, which you know from the title, I'm so sure, but it is my last day of work in jail. By this time, you will have seen like my quitting video, and so it shouldn't come as too much of a shock to you, hopefully, but things will be a little bit different from now, and I'm expecting that today will be kind of tough because I have all of the reasons of why it was best for me to be done with this job at this moment, which I talked about in that previous video, but even with that, I am definitely going to miss the youth, and I'm going to miss, I feel like the idea of just like working in jail, like it's a cool job and it served its time, you know, even if it's time to move on. I'm equipped right now, got my chocolate milk, got my coffee, got a whole stack of waffles. Today is a Thursday, so it will consist of the multidisciplinary team meeting, which will be my very last one. I have two clients to present. At this point, I have been doing termination sessions with my clients, like all of them know that I'm leaving and all of them know whose caseload they'll be going on to. So that process has all been happening behind the scenes, <laughs> but I still have two to present today before they get fully transitioned to someone else's caseload. I'm doing an exit interview today with my like big boss basically to kind of talk about you know experience at the job and everything. I am running a little bit late already. Could not get out of bed this morning. This will not be the last work week you see from me. Like there definitely will be work weeks to come but obviously the, it'll be different in the future. The things that are coming up you know I won't be going into jail anymore. So happy last day. I just feel weird inside. <laughs> But hopefully, hopefully I'll make it through. I tried so hard to do this reflection on my actual last day and I just could not form my thoughts into words. Probably because I was kind of going through a lot, you know, but this is actually like a few weeks removed now. It's been almost two weeks since my last day. This video is kind of funny because even though it doesn't consist of a whole lot, it is just a moment and a time of life that I want to document. I've kind of been thinking recently about like the point of this YouTube channel to me. And I really love the work that Sarah Fisher, she's another vlogger on YouTube and is also getting her PhD. But the way that she studies and frames vlogs, I just think is so cool. Something that she shared recently is how vlogging is kind of like making an autobiography in real time and how it's a form of writing and of storytelling. And I just think that that's a very cool way to think of it. And I also think that it helped me put into perspective why I wanted to include this video on the channel, even though it is kind of like a, oh, okay, your last day of work type thing, because it is a big moment to me, I feel like. Starting with some of the cute things. I got several letters or pictures pictures. Miss Shoal is the, I think it's raddest. <laughs> we forgot a D in there, but that's okay. <laughs> Bye Miss Shoal, farewell. <laughs> I got another whole letter. <laughs> This one was really sweet. Thank you for being there for me since the first day I arrived. You helped me a lot. God bless on your new job. I'm covering up names if you're wondering. <laughs> this one says, first of all, I want to say thank you for your time and talks. Thank you for the smiles. See you in the outside life. I always told them you will not be seeing me on the outside. They'd be like, oh, catch you on the streets. You will not catch me on the street. But God bless me and don't forget about me. And then he also said, tell everyone else that I was too lazy to write notes, but thank you for all the support. God bless all of you. <laughs> Some sweet love from the little teenagers that I was with. I made talking points because like I said, I was struggling so hard to like put things in two words, but my first postgrad job is done. It is finished. I no longer work in jail. I think that the last day didn't hit me as hard as I had thought that it was going to. And I think a lot of that is because of the transition time and the preparation time that had gone leading up into my last day, which is really good, honestly, because that's how it's supposed to be whenever like you're terminating with clients and they're transitioning to new people, however it may be. And so the last day itself didn't come as a shock because everyone knew for three weeks that that was going to be my last day. So it was just kind of like, okay, the day is here. And and honestly, for me too, I find that last days don't affect me as much as like a month later, whenever I'm like, oh dang, like I really haven't been there since then, or I really haven't seen those people since that time. And so I kept trying to have moments throughout the day, like sitting at my desk being like, this is the last time that I'll sit up to this desk <laughs> or however it may be. 
but it just like it didn't hit the same there are definitely things that I'll miss about this job I mean for one it was just a really cool job like it's fun to be like oh yeah I worked in jail like I, just that part's cool it gave me a new perspective into like the justice system and how things work that I never would have gotten if I hadn't worked inside it like I did and it also like I grew so so much both as a person and as a social worker in my time working in the justice system even from the fact that whenever I first got my field placement for my MSW and it was a youth detention center I was like what like <laughs> what will I be doing there what's that gonna be like like it was just so shocking to me because I never would have thought to necessarily want that or would have thought that it was an option for me and so then it's very cool that I spent 19 months in the detention center like that and really like was able to meet so many cool people in that time both people that I worked with people who came through and I know that like from age 21 to 23 I would have changed anyways but I do feel like my position and the work that I have been doing has played a big transformative role in my life so I am thankful for that because I definitely definitely am a different person than before this job or before the internship and then the job in good ways I think um obviously there were also a lot of things that were missing from this job which I've spoken about like in the previous videos like in the video of why I quit and everything as we all know it was a very very tough job one the setting is tough like being in jails prisons wherever it may be is not going to be necessarily a good time especially if you are like in the trenches like I was like it wasn't like oh, okay I'm gonna come in once a week and do a group and then leave again like I was there every single day which takes a toll on anybody and like I was there and I get to go home at the end of the day and other people are there they don't get to go home at the end of the day but just the setting itself is tough and then honestly a lot of the work that I was doing in a day was really really hard in that a lot of it dealt with trauma people have traumatic stories obviously going into it and a lot of the work and sometimes I would mention this I really never explicitly like talked about it because it's something I don't know but a lot a lot a lot of the work that I would do in a day had to do with risk of harm to self which is not something that's easy to like emotionally handle on oneself like I could be a really good clinician and it could really like suck everything out of me you know what I mean <laughs> really tough sometimes and so kind of flipping that on its head something that I'm a little bit grateful for like how hard that this job was is that it really forced me to be super duper proactive with trying to create a life in which I'm being kind to myself and I'm taking care of myself the whole you can't pour from an empty cup type of deal I was forced into making strong habits which I think is good but with that that is also part of why this job was not going to be sustainable for me was because the work was so so difficult and there was a huge lack of support like on a professional level which is something that I've learned that I need in a future job along with that obviously everything's just like very political and like the goal of the incarceration system is not to promote well-being and mental health of clients or of people who are being incarcerated and so lots of times it was like swimming upstream and having to dig through a whole bunch of muck <laughs> to actually do the work and so the fact that the work itself is already so tough but then by the time that I would like actually get to the point where I would be able to be like one-on-one -on -one with the client doing the work so much of me was already drained because of how much you have to go through in order to get to the place where you're doing the work if that makes any kind of sense at all I feel like that's hard to explain but I kept saying like I had to be working harder in order to be allowed to do my job than I was having to work in actually doing my job so like the work was already so hard but then it was exponentially more difficult in a day because I had to fight to do my work lots of fighting not actually fist fighting just like politics and stuff so I wish so much that I had it in me to stick around and be there for the clients in that kind of way but I honestly just like have not been the best version of myself and have been struggling a lot like mentally emotionally all of that which some of it I've talked about like even since December of this past year and so with that it just wasn't going to be my forever which meant that it was time for me to start looking for something new something that has been really encouraging to me in the two weeks now since we are a little bit separated from when I stopped is that there has been a lot of peace in this transition which has helped me feel confirmation that it was the right thing to do and the right time to leave now it's not to say the transition has been easy it really hasn't and obviously like I feel it's pretty natural to always question big decisions like this like oh but what if I had stayed longer or whatever it might have been but I think with this transition specifically it was going to require some distance from being in there every single day for me to realize how negative of an impact it was having on me and like I said it's been 13 days now since I've been inside of jail and I am like finding bits of myself that I didn't know I had lost not to be dramatic not to sound too deep my last day was a Thursday and I was on a flight to Columbia the next day which now you've seen that video but 
I do think that that was a good decision for a second. I was like, am I running away from my problems? Like, am I going on vacation so I don't have to face the hard parts of leaving? But really like while in Colombia, I did face some of the hard parts of leaving. And I also like met up with really cool people who a lot were going through, maybe not the exact same, but like similar types of feelings and transitions. And so it was time for me to be able to like process through things in a way that I was finding joy and that I was having fun and that I was meeting people and seeing beautiful things. And so it kind of was reminding me of what I do like and like the positive aspects of life that I think a lot of me had forgotten for the past, maybe not the 19 months because the internship wasn't really as hard, but like the past 10 months, I guess, since I actually started working there, which sounds depressing because it was and I was. <laughs> Looking back now, like the months feel like a fever dream. Like it felt like I was in like, <laughs> wait, this is a good metaphor. I feel like I have so many feelings that I describe with like visual metaphors, which comes out in videos a lot. So I hope that's helpful to you too, but I feel like it's a good way to describe like how I'm feeling. You know, whenever you're in a dark water slide and you're just going down the water slide and like doing all this like spinning turning but you can't see anything because it's dark and then all of a sudden you're back out in the light and you kind of like slow down at that straight part in the water slide and you're like whoo that was a ride that is like <laughs> <laughs> that's the moment that I'm in now where it's like that whole past 10 months was just like dark water slide where I'm like well I'm just kind of going through the motions doing what I need to do and now I'm in that moment of like whoo that was something even with the fact that like I didn't get holidays remember when I worked Christmas <laughs> and didn't get any extra pay for that that was just like regular like that wasn't even time and a half that was just like regular or how I worked every single weekend since what July PTO never heard of her before wouldn't get any of it at all so that part also was just not going to be sustainable and being on the other side of it now like I said there's like peace in this transition of knowing okay yeah this was the right thing to do and it does feel like the right time to have done so too and I'm glad to be able to have a moment now where I can kind of refine myself re get my bearings around me I feel like I've been in a, a healing era so with that you're probably curious about what is to come and I will give more like information as as I have more information at this current point I still do not have another job offer in my hand like I've been saying like all of the videos that you've seen recently it should be coming like I feel confidence that I will it's just like I don't have the official letter right now I am continuing in social work this is not like a leaving my career or anything it's just leaving my first postgrad job and bouncing into something newer which honestly even with jail I have been in jail for 19 months which is the longest that I've ever done something like consecutively since like coming out of school you know everything's in a school year in a semester in a summer or whatever and so 19 months like that being kind of two school years is the longest I've ever done something and it's kind of cool thinking that like in a future job like that could even beat that amount of time where like I will know everything so well and I'll have like this great routine and be comfortable in what I do and hopefully hopefully fingers crossed it'll be like better for me and I'll be more of myself while I'm doing it right now of filming it is April 5th I think you'll see this video by the end of the month I'm pretty sure I'm excited to be back in real time it feels fun but the next step of my process for the job that I believe that I will be getting is on April 12th. So I have a week right now. Kind of just living my, my unemployed life at the current moment. But I'm glad to have done this like checkup because now I feel like I can vlog or I can talk about the transition more and nothing's like under wraps. Like everything's just kind of open and out there. So thanks for sticking with me, even though you didn't know you were. <laughs> While I'm going through this transition, like at this point, you still don't even know I quit my job. <laughs> I promise we'll get back to real time soon and we'll get back to more like chronological order soon. But things that you can expect to come will be starting a new job, getting that job offer, finding a new routine, new work weeks. Obviously they'll be different, which you know, there's like mourning in the old routines, but then hopefully it'll just be good things to come. In the next couple of months, Zach and I will be moving apartments too. So like, honestly, I feel like this is the season finale. I'm gonna start a new playlist on YouTube. So far since last June, we've been in the I'm an MSW playlist because remember I graduated from my MSW and then I was like woo post-grad and season finale here we are hopefully in the next season you know there'll be some new sets some new plot points maybe some new characters coming in and I'm really excited for it all like I said I'm just really glad we had this like chat to kind of just get everything out on the table how we've been feeling and everything thank you so much for your encouragement and for your support in this time I really really do appreciate that I have no idea what the next few months will look like but I mean you'll you'll live them with me so we'll do it together if you've ever had any feelings that are like what I've been describing this entire video please know that you are not alone. We're doing it together. We'll keep doing it together. So thankful for you and I'll see you next time.